So we have radians. Okay? We've dealt with degrees for the most part looking at angles. A radian is another way you can measure it. We look on our calculator. We always stress about being in degree mode. Now we can kind of shift to look at radians. But we're not really using our calculator, so that's not really an issue yet. So a radian... If I had a circle, a circle, we're going to have a measurement of a radius. I want you to think of a radian as it's the amount of the arc length that is equal to the radius. So if we took this radius in this circle and we stretched it out on the outside of the circle, it's one radian. Okay? So we've been talking about a unit circle. In our unit circle, let's say the radius is one. So a radian on a unit circle will be how much of this circle would be one unit in length. Whoa. So a radian, I'll write it out again. A radian is the arc length with the same measure as the radius. Okay, so if you went out, took a string, and measured a radius, and kind of like took it around in a circle, like a chalk to draw a circle, and took that length of the string onto the circle, one radian is its measurement. So that's where we can start looking at it, and we're not going to go, hey, that's one radian, two radians going around. We can also use that with circumference. So you know that circumference, the radius is 2, or the equation is 2 pi r. Yes? We hear that? Okay. Now, if we looked at the unit circle, r equals 1, so that means the circumference would be 2r in a unit circle. So what that tells us in radian mode, a whole circle is 2 pi. The distance around the full circle is 2 pi. So where we say 360 degrees in radian mode, it's 2 pi around the circle. 2 pi radians. So when we had that unit circle chart where we filled in all the degrees. Now we need to be able to fill in the radian measurements. 2 pi is the distance around. It's circumference. Degrees to radians, you're going to multiply by pi over 180 to get your new result. So whatever angle you have in degrees, multiply by pi over 180, it comes out. Yeah. Now the two things that are happening here, if we think of the difference, if I said, here's different angle measurements, which one degrees, which one's radians, you would identify the radian ones as, hey, they have a pi in them. So if we're trying to figure it out, degrees to radians, we probably have to put a pi into the value. That's why we multiply by pi. And then the 180 is what we use to reduce the fraction. So for example, if I said 30 degrees, 30 degrees times pi over 180 is going to give me a result with pi in it. And then 30 over 180 becomes 1 6, so that's pi over 6. No, it's... Five or six. That's what it's equal. Don't use your calculator. No calculator. Okay, I'll do another one. Let's say we have an angle of 225 degrees. You multiply it by pi over 180. 225 over 180, you can reduce. They both are divisible by 45. That becomes 5 pi over 4. Now, the other direction. Radian to degrees. What do you think we're going to multiply by? Um, 
and 180 over pi. So we need to get rid of the pi by dividing it away, and then multiply by 180 to kind of change that fraction to be what it is out of 180. So let's say I had 7 pi over 6. I multiply that by 180 over pi. These are gone. I can reduce the 6 and the 180 to be 30 degrees, and then it's 7 times 30 comes out to be 210 degrees.